Our family loves traditions and one of our traditions is pumpkin picking where there's a pumpkin on the porch to represent each family member and we did actually finally get to go pumpkin picking this past weekend. I don't do a ton of decor on my porch for the fall and winter just because the weather gets bad here and snow falls um, sometimes in November even. But most of the things here I had last year, I did pick up a few new metal pumpkin signs from the Dollar Tree, but I kind of used what I had. This wreath I made last year, I do have a video about that. And then my two mats are new, and one I got from Amazon, the Buffalo Check one, and then the funny one I got from Marshalls. When you open the door to our home, you are greeted by our little friends here. These are some of my favorite thrifted treasures from this year. I found them remarkably intact in the Goodwill outlet bins and hung them on the door. And then you have my little get cozy sign. That is something that Arteza sent to me last year. I love this little board and I change the words on it for each season. I can link it in my description box. I just think as far as letter boards go, it's a very nice quality one and it came with several kinds of letters. And not much changed here. I just stuck in some pumpkins to some already existing thrifted decor. Much of the decor throughout my home is thrifted items and then sometimes I mix in some new things if there are things that I can't find at thrift stores. I did want to show you my little floral artwork wall. These are just vintage pieces that I've picked up at various thrift stores. I love the way they look together. And then at the bottom of the steps, I just have a little bookshelf with some decor above it. And that painting I found at the Goodwill outlet bins, I think it's gorgeous. And on this shelf, I just switch out a few elements for each season. I don't completely redo this decor until Christmas time. When you come up the stairs of our home, you enter into what we call the great room. It has a living area and then the dining room and then the kitchen and a family room off of that. So what you're looking at right now is our living room. This was the original living room of the house, but the family room was added on in the 90s. So we actually don't use this room as much as probably the original owners did. My son does school in here. That's why we have the computer and the headset there. This is also where he games. But we do have the couch and, you know, we use it as a sitting room sometimes, but really not that often. This room is where I keep my vintage depression glass collection. And this little pumpkin was a DIY that I created earlier in the season. I am really enjoying the coffee table and the wire cloche on the coffee table. And then I also wanted to show you my bookshelves. So to some, this will be clutter. To me, it's multiple vignettes. Molly and I, my daughter and I created all of these vignettes with multiple pieces of my fall decor to bring out the aqua and orange theme that I'm doing this year and I love how this bookshelf turned out. And yes, I do dust. Before someone asks, I do dust. <laughs> And this is probably my favorite shelf. I love this casserole holder with the books in it. I switch them out for each season. I just think it's a really cool thing to decorate. I don't usually show my bathroom in home tours, but I wanted you to see my thankful rug from Target and this little bit of decor I put on the shelf and on the towel rack. My towel is also from Target 
and then I just added a few little accents to bring some cheer into the bathroom. Over there is my little bottle collection, and I added a pumpkin there as well. I also wanted to mention, people always point out the pot hanging on my wall. That is a vintage aluminum pot that my mother used to use to rinse our hair as babies, and now my kids use it to rinse the dogs. You can see on the top of my kitchen cabinets is my wine rack holding my vintage rolling pins. That was an idea I got from a shop I was in and I love how it looks. I found my wine rack at the Goodwill outlet bins the week following the week that I went to that shop. So that was pretty cool. I didn't change too much else on top of the cabinets. I always have my blue ball jars up there, but I did add that pumpkin that I made several weeks ago with a recipe on it. And then I always like to have a tiered tray over in the corner here. This is one that I picked up at a thrift store a few months back and I spray painted it flat black. It serves us really well because it's not just decorative, but we have salt and pepper on there and we have my husband's breakfast bread. So it's been very useful. I did not change anything to the left of the sink. This is just our coffee area, but I do love my vintage canisters. They each have different either coffee pods or coffee grounds, and I just like to show them because I really like them. <laughs> we are going to be painting our cabinets. That is our next big project. These are the original to the house cabinets, and they're quite orange at this point. The finish has changed over time. So while I like the oak on the floor and on my kitchen table, I do not like it on my cabinets. So I'm excited to change that. And on my kitchen island behind the area I just was, we have two different trays. This is my little white tray and it has like cream, a creamer, sugar, our syrup, salt and pepper shakers. And then um, I have a little bit of decor. This plate came from Target candles from Aldi and then I have my tiered tray that I made from garage sale finds and a Dollar Tree rolling pin that was a DIY I can link if I remember I love my tiered tray <laughs> and I really enjoy changing it up for each of the seasons and this is strictly decor it's strictly eye candy for me because I actually sit at the island and work all day so I like to put things on it that I like to look at so you can see I just have lots of different elements on it. If you've watched any of my previous home tours, you know that the dining room got a big change recently. So I used to have a hutch here, but now we bought these cabinets from Ikea. They're the half to line. I love displaying things on top of them. I was super pleased to have that area to display some of my larger pieces. But the cabinets themselves are mostly for practical purposes. I'm gonna open one up here so you can kind of see the storage that this will provide for us. Because our kitchen does not have a lot of cabinetry because of that center island. You know, we don't have a lot of upper cabinets and the center island itself doesn't really have much cabinetry in it. So. And then the center cabinet here, we got the glass doors so that I could do some displays. The wood slice wreath here I made as another DIY. I will insert a link to that video. And then I love the pieces I've chosen to go into the glass cabinet. I have some wood pieces and some restaurant ware and some family heirlooms. This bowl in the center here is my husband's great grandmother's bowl. So I told the kids, you can't just ever donate that. That's a special one. <laughs> I love the way the cabinets just brighten the room. And this is my new dining table. It is solid oak. It has several leaves and it came with seven chairs. I bought it for $200 over the quarantine 
from Facebook Marketplace and it is just an amazing table. And like I said, I love the oak. I don't love the oak of my kitchen cabinets, but I do love the oak on this table. And I just, I think it's beautiful. Beautiful in the space and beautiful now with my new white cabinets. And that's just my camera doing weird things with the lighting if you see dots on the screen. This is my peach bushel basket full of my vintage aprons, which I actually use very frequently. So now when they get washed, we just put them in the basket. On the dining room table is my Dollar Tree tiered tray that I made out of picture frames. I love this tray. I've been so pleased with it and I really love the finish on it, the white. Then I have some of my little DIYs that I made. I like the height of this tray on the table. And I just really like trays because then I can put a lot of things on the table but it doesn't feel cluttered because it's all on one tray. And the next room in our tour is what we call the family room. And this is definitely where we spend most of our time. This dresser I picked up at the Goodwill Outlet Bins for $4.99. And most of the items on it are thrifted. I have this three tier plate stand, which I'm using as a tiered tray. Quite pleased with how that all looks. Then I have my book stand that I got recently. And here behind our love seat, we have this little table, which I enjoyed decorating with this new glass cloche that I got. I picked that up at Home Goods. There just was not a time for me to be able to film when the kids were not doing school. So if you see Hannah in here, she's gonna wave at you shortly here. Um, it was the only way I could get my tour done. I was like, you know what? I just have to film it and she's here and that's gonna have to just be fine. <laughs> this is real life and during the pandemic, we're just all here all the time. This piece in the center, I have had forever the white little bird cage and I usually fill it with things. And then here on the end is one of my favorite collections of decor and it has been for like a year now. It's a wire basket with old books and an old lettered opener and an old glass doorknob. There she is. There's Hannah, she's doing school. I think she was in math. <laughs> the fireplace is always a fun area to decorate. Our fireplace does not work. It broke last year or the year before, but we're having someone come out this week actually to give us some estimates on replacing it because we can't fix it. It's too old and they no longer have the part. I redid this little table for another DIY video. And on top of it, I have a thrifted lamp and then other little thrifted bits of decor. I think I'm going to make a Thanksgiving stack of books. That's kind of my all year one, but I thought it'd be cute to have a Thanksgiving one and then maybe a Christmassy one. So those are projects that I have in mind. And that's all that I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my fall decor for fall 2020. It is a crazy and bizarre time, but I am enjoying my fall decor. And until my next video, thanks so much for watching.